Another day, St. John Vianney here from Holmdel High School in the 2022 Coach's Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. And everything gets started right after this. He's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. A double play wins it. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The stakes don't get much higher than this. Yes, it's a regular season game. 18-0 St. John Vianney. 16-0 Saddle River Day. It's all here on D1 Media Pro in the 2022 Coach's Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase. Good, e good evening, everybody. My name is Kevin Connolly, joined alongside Mustafa Houghton. We thank you for spending part of your Sunday with us here from Homedale High School in Homedale, New Jersey. This is the fifth and final game here the 2022 Coach's Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase. Our four other winners today, Morris Catholic, Rumson Fairhaven, Manasquan, and Rutgers Prep, but this is the one everyone's been waiting for. St. John Vianney, the number five team in the country according to ESPN, the number one team in the state of New Jersey according to NJ.com. Saddle River Day, a perfect 16-0, the number two team in New Jersey according to NJ.com. If they could pull the upset here today, perhaps you could be looking at two top 25 teams here in the state of New Jersey. We're about three minutes away from tip. A lot more to get into here on D1 Media Pro. But first, a word from our sponsor, and we'll be back after this. The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries, as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints, from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury, but also find the underlying cause, such as muscle weakness, imbalance, or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities, such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injuries. Board-certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, Dr. Michael Rusinella, utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life. St. John Vianney, Saddle River Day. It all comes down to this, the fifth and final game here in the Coach's Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase. St. John Vianney, a top five team in the country, the number one team in the state of New Jersey. Saddle River Day, 16-0. They're not ranked nationally, but they're the number two team here in the Garden State. And they get a crack to try and knock off the Lancer, something no one has done this year. We'll take a listen in to the starting lineups for tonight's game. First, for the quote-unquote visitors, the Rebels of Saddle River Day. Wow, this is a big time game, man. I've never seen a crowd like this for a girls game. Yeah, this Ever. is one versus two, firepower all over the court. Paulina Paris for Saddle River Day. She's going to North Carolina. Wow. You have Madison St. Rose going to Princeton. Zoe Brooks, a junior with offers from all over the place. It's going to be a big time game here this evening. And I think before the starting lineups, we're going to have a pregame ceremony for St. John Vianney because Zoe Brooks scored her 1,000th career point last time out for St. John Vianney. 
enough to achieve during the high school career of four years. Michael Michael has accomplished her goal in two different locations. First, to Trent Catholic as a freshman sophomore, massive 681 points. Second, as a junior at St. John the Navy, where she has become a part of the Lancer family, massive 322 points so far this season and not finished yet. As a pride, her total of her career in three seasons and counting is 1,003 points. We'd like to wish a warm congratulations to So Brooks. <laughs> So Brooks, a 1,000 career point scorer between her time at Trenton Catholic and St. John Vianney. And she gets honored right here at Home Bell High School. Uh, look, Matt kept getting a flip. Now we'll take a look at the starting lineups for today's game. First, for the visiting Rebels of Saddle River Day. So your starters for Saddle River Day, Cece Pearson, Juliana Almeida, Dakota Corey, Paulina Paris, and Faith Williamson. Danny Brown is the head coach of the Rebels. Now, the starting lineups for the Lancers of St. John Vianney. So there are your five starters for St. John Vianney. Megan Callahan, Ashley O'Connor, Janie Backman, Madison St. Rose, and Zoe Brooks, Dawn Corporal, the head coach for the Lancers. And now we'll stay live right here for the playing of our national anthem.
St. John Vietti Saddle River Day, ready to go here in the final game of the 2022 Coach's Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase right here on the D1 Media Pro page on the NFHS Network. I'm Kevin Connolly, joined alongside Mustafa Hooten. We thank you for joining us here on this Sunday evening. We've had four games already in the books today. Our winners, Morris Catholic, they defeated the host, Holmdel Hornets, Rumson Fairhaven, a victory over St. Thomas Aquinas, Anasquan took down Paul the Sixth, and Rutgers Prep, a victory over Red Bank Catholic in our other game. See who emerges victorious. Someone is going to leave tonight with a loss on their resume. Will it be Saddle River Day? Will it be St. John Vianney? We'll find out in a matter of moments. Ready to jump it up here. Somebody's old must go. Saddle River Day in black. St. John Vianney is in white. And off we go. Here from Homedale, the tap is controlled by Saddle River Day. And we're off and running. Shot no good, the rebound's pulled down by Madison St. Rose. Rose, a Euro in towards the lane, can't get it to go. The offensive rebound is poked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lancers. O'Connor to trigger. Into St. Rose, right back to O'Connor. One more on the wing, Zoe Brooks. Honored pregame for scoring her thousand point. Last time out for the Lancers. A straight on three by O'Connor. Oh, it is halfway down and out. A rebound to Santa River Day. Dakota Corey hands off, she'll get it right back. Paulina Paris going to Chapel Hill. Too strong on her first three of the game. Back down the other way. Rose steps into a three, no. Offensive rebound and the putback. Megan Callahan as we get a whistle on the sideline. Harris lost the handle, gets it right back. Good pull it back out. A skip pass to the wing. Pearson gets to the lane, and she's fouled. CC Pearson, the senior guard, going to the line. 4-2, the foul's on Zoe Brooks. Her first team's first. As Pearson can't get Santa River Day on the board just yet, she'll have another. Gets the second to go. So the Rebels on the board here against St. John Vianney. Brooks on the drive, the reverse, and she'll flip it in. Brooks just a junior, this is her first year at St. John Vianney. Previously played at Trenton Catholic, and you know how prolific of a scorer she is, scoring a thousand points in th less than three full years. The three-pointer was way off, loose ball on the deck, St. John Vianney comes out of the pack with it. Ashley O'Connor giving up her body on the deck. Down low and the finish. Megan Callaland finishes at the rim. And a five point lead for the Lancers. On the sideline, ball tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Rebels. Paulina 
And a Paris on the drive, lost the handle. A lot of contact, no call. And now we get a whistle down low. The Rebels will head to the free throw line. Looks like it'll be Dakota Corey who heads to the stripe. Jenny Bachman gets hit with the foul. Corey with one more. Two for two from the strike. O'Connor dumps it off to the free throw line, bobbling and controlling as Bachman. She'll pull it back out. One more to the wing. Halliland thought about the three and said find St. Rose, her mid-range no good. Paris the rebound. Here comes Paulina Paris. One more to the corner. A three is down, CC Pearson. Tied up at six. Four and a half to go here in the first quarter. Brooks to the hole, tough finish at the rim. Harris finally able to get it. She'll drive to the hole. High level shot making here from the Stars on a Sunday night in Home Bell. Standing room only crowd. Energy through the roof. Hopefully you can feel it at home on your various devices watching this game on Tennis. And the foul, Madison St. Rose. This is definitely some high level basketball right here. As we got a couple of substitutions. Bree Delaney checks in for St. John Vianney alongside Julia Carpel. Madison St. Rose to try and complete the three-point play, and she does. Williamson finds Paris. A double shown and she'll pull it back out. Alina Paris, Madison St. Rose. We're going to play Division I basketball next year. Paris at North Carolina, St. Rose at Princeton. Rose looks to drive, gets into the lane, and can't get it to go. Home run pass all the way down floor, and that'll go out of bounds. Pearson not able to track it down. Rose over to Brooks. Brooks tried to find it down low. Delaney wasn't able to reel it in. The Lancer turnover. <laughs> Nearly a turnover. Williamson's got to get it across, and she does. A dribble handoff to Paris. An elbow pull up is off. Ball's tapped around and a foul down low on the rebound. We get an over the back foul on Saddle River Day. Christina Martherin will get hit with the foul. Her first team second. Three point lead for St. John Vianney here in the early going. That's going to be a reach-in foul. They'll get Corey with the reach. 
Juliana Almeida comes back in. Pearson will get a breather. It was Corey's first foul, the team's third. Off the inbounds, right to St. Rose. A nice fake and a layup. Williamson, a dangerous pass. Loose on the sideline. Tracked down by O'Connor. Outlet pass up ahead. Delaney to the hole. Lays it up and in. And then we'll get a foul underneath. Foul goes on Julia Carpel, her first team's third. 15-8 lead, two minutes to go here in the first quarter. For St. John Vianney over Saddle River Day. Matchup between undefeateds here in the Garden State. On the drive, they'll kick it back out. Nice feed down low, and the finish underneath by Dakota Corey. Nice find there from Almeida. One twenty to go here in the first. An open three is an air ball. St. Rose lost her footing underneath. She touched it last, and it'll go back to the Rebels. Four substitutions. Come on, the only one that stays out on the floor for St. John Vianney is Brooks. Everyone else will get a breather. One more in the corner. Oh, what a nice cut! Corey passed up a running layup. So try and get it back down low. Save it on the baseline. Another nice feed. Almeida couldn't hang on. All the way up ahead, a nice fake and the finish by Callaway. And then we got a foul. Sierra Cervalos, who checked in during that last whistle, gets in with the foul. Her first team's fourth. 44 seconds to go. Here in the first quarter. No shot clock on the boys or the girls' side in New Jersey. You're going to take as much time as you want, and they're going to get an offensive foul on Paulina Paris. So Paris will get fouled with the using the off arm to try and create separation. St. Rose comes back in alongside Carpel. 36.2 to go here in the first. St. Rose picks up a screen, uncontested to the hole. Nine point lead early on for St. John Vianney. Final seconds of the quarter. They'll say that touch Paulina Paris last. And it'll go back to St. John Vianney. A lot of turnovers here in this first quarter for this Saddle River Day team. They're down nine already. Whoa. See if St. John Vianney can push this lead to double figures to go into the end of the first quarter. Brooks, the finger roll, no. Two seconds and one. And the time will run out here in the first quarter. A highly contested start through eight minutes. St. John Vianney, a nine-point lead over Saddle River Day. We'll be back with quarter number two right after this. One of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro, and it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game, 62 apiece, 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down. Corey Floyd. Missed opportunity down low, behind the back to Plano and one. Lawrence with Floyd to lob it up, what a slam! Too low 
for Dunn. Wilcher to Floyd. Brings it in. Air in on the log. Thought about the three. Drives. Base lock. Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd. Here with Corey Floyd after a tough six. Wilcher, three. Got it. Simeon Wilcher is fired up. And Simeon Wilcher all alone with the flush. Here with Simeon Wilcher. And a pass taken away by Marshall. And he'll throw it down. And tosses it ahead to Valencia. Serene driving and throws it down. Back here okay. for the start of the second quarter. St. John Vianney basketball to start things off in a nine point lead. St. Rose, a nice dump down low, a spin. Layup's no good, ball tapped around and controlled by Almedia. Almost gets stripped away from behind. They'll feed the corner, Pearson's three! Her second triple of the game. St. Rose back on it, fired down low, and Powellan. She just made that look too easy. Point lead, just underway here in the second quarter. The three is down. Triples raining down, and we got a whistle after the play. The basket was good, and now we'll see what the foul is. Perhaps CC Pearson underneath with the push. So the basket's good. We'll get a foul on Pearson after the play, I believe. We'll see when it gets posted here on the board. But the shot is good. The three-pointer was good by Faith Williamson. Not posted on the board. The last foul posted on the board here goes to 23. So perhaps they got Paulina Paris with a push underneath. And it was just heard over the PA system that the foul does go on Paulina Paris. So that's her second, team fifth, with one minute gone here in this second quarter. St. Rose can't answer, way off. The offensive rebound, oh, wow. nobody boxed out. Janie Bachman, and she finishes. St. John Vianney strong on the board. And St. Rose, the steal, and the layup. A hesitation, a drive, and the spin off the front rim. A hometown bounce there for Juliana Almeida. Brooks picks up a screen, goes to the hole, the finger roll, oh, Zoe Brooks! The level of shot making in this game as Paris oh. drills a three! You can't stop the rain. You can't stop anything in this game. 27-21, 5.45 to go before halftime. Brooks behind the back and she's fouled. We'll see who they get the foul on. Foul's on 32, Ashley Red. Her first team sixth. Uh, Ruckers Prep staying in to get, stand within striking distance, only down six. Brooks at the line for two. Stabs the first. One more at the line for Brooks, and it's good. Eight point lead for St. John Vianney over Saddle River Day. They'll break the press, they'll work in the corner. Paris, another three, can't get that one to go. And they'll say last touch Saddle River Day, so they'll go to St. John Vianney. Brooks, the crossover, a kick out, a three is too strong. Outlet to Paris, 
Paulina Paris with numbers. And that's going to be a travel on Saddle River Day. Perhaps the game going a little bit too quickly here for the, Rebel, the Rebels of Saddle River Day. A couple of uncharacteristic turnovers in this first half here against St. John Vianney. Arguably the biggest game of their regular season. Brooks, and she gets fouled. And the Rebels not happy about that call. And that'll be the seventh team foul on Saddle River Day. So St. John Vianney in the bonus. And Brooks will go to the line for a one and one. up the line for a 1-1 one and, one and the front end spins out. Loose rebound underneath and they'll get a jump ball and the arrow sends it to Saddle River Day. Brooks will check out. She'll go get a breather. Still an eight-point game under five minutes to go here in the first half. There's a steal and the finish by Delaney. The lead's up to 10. Harris on the drive. She'll kick a three from Williamson. They need it, couldn't get it. The offensive board is loose underneath, out of bounds. And go back to St. John Vianney with four and a half to go here in the first half. John Vianney having their way so far early here at Saddle River Day. A nice slip to the basket. One more to St. Rose, who finishes at the rim. Perhaps the Rebels will want to burn a timeout, but they'll go quickly. Nice underhand pass, and we'll get a whistle. A push underneath against the Lancers. That'll be the fifth team foul. We'll see who it goes on. Looks like they'll get it on Ashley O'Connor. 12-point game. Saddle River cannot let this lead get to 20. Boy, this, game, this game is over. Off the inbounds. Get Paris. Paris, a jab step and a three. Halfway down and out. A loose ball and a foul. So things not falling the way here of Saddle River Day. A foul on the rebound attempt, a lot of uncharacteristic turnovers. The eighth team foul and St. John Vianney to the line for another one and one. Front end of the one and one bounces out, so St. John Vianney Allowing Saddle River Day to hang around here, missing a couple of free throws in this half, as there's another turnover for the Rebels. Top of the key, Bachman, with Paris on her. Try and get it back to her, it's tipped away. Hubbard's able to track it down. Bachman on the drive to the hole and she'll finish. Everything going towards the Lancers. St. John Vinny just seems like the more stronger team just imposing their will right now. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Rebels need a run. Or this game slips away, down by 14. Paris crosses over, gets to the lane, and that'll work 
for the Rebels, Molina Paris. Way downtown, Woo! Madison St. Rose. Drilled that one from Seaside. Harris again the crossover and they'll get a reach. Six team foul, so that's the final, one, lead. the final one to give. Next one will put Saddle River Day at the line and they'll inbound from the sideline. Nearly a turnover. They gotta give it up, they do. Pearson's three off the front rim. And a rebound to O'Connor. Outlet pass up ahead. Find Brooks. Nice oh. look down low! And the finish for Hubbard. Lead to 17, Kevin. Leads up to 17. Rebels need a run. Got to try and chip in before halftime. Pearson, a tough shot. Stood no chance. Great defense. Here goes Brooks on the pull-up. Can't get the roll. It's loose underneath. Harris comes away with it. And a timeout is called by Saddle River Day. 128 to play here in the first half. St. John Vianney, a 17-point lead over Saddle River Day. We'll step aside for a break and be back right after this. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readiness and sports education.org. One twenty-eight to go here in the second quarter. A 17-point lead for St. John Vianney over Saddle River Day. Rebels just burned their first time out. Paulina Paris looks to go off the dribble all the way to the hole. And if you're Saddle River Day, the ball in Paulina Paris's hands and let her go to work. She's trying to keep the Rebels in this one. They're down 15, 60 seconds to go here in the first half. Brooks on the drive and she's fouled on the way up. Lancer's just too big, too strong, too physical, and too crafty around the rim. Yeah, these girls are imposing their will. Ninth team foul on the Rebels, but Brooks was in the act of shooting, so she'll get two shots. <laughs> Brooks, one more, and it's good. Harris gets doubled. Flips it out to Williamson. Amelia. The free throw line for up. Now things will get interesting here. If Saddle River Day gets a stop and a score, there's a stop as the ball goes out of bounds. They try to throw the home run pass. Halliland couldn't save it. And now with 36.1 on the clock, it'll go back to Saddle River Day. A three here could make things interesting. A bucket here could be a much needed momentum boost for the Rebels going into halftime, but imagine they want to hold for one. Harris will go to the hole, get stopped there. Tough shot at the rim. Almeida couldn't get it to go. 20 seconds left for the Lancers. 
Brooks will just heave one up. She didn't know how much time was left. Another break for the Re Rebels. Here comes Paris with eight. Paris to the hole. Kicks. Pearson's three. Too strong. Outlet pass to Brooks. Now she'll have to heave it up. Good as it goes. Oh, she tried to bank it in. And she couldn't. But that'll do it for the first half. 42-27. St. John Vianney leads Saddle River Day. We'll step aside for our halftime break and be back in the third quarter right after this. He's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. Another oh. play wins it to three. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. The guy is on touchdown. The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury but also find the underlying cause such as muscle weakness, imbalance or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injuries. Board-certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, Dr. Michael Rusinella, utilizes non-surgical and minimally invasive surgical procedures to help patients regain back their quality of life. Screen pass out in the flat, caught, and it's a touchdown for St. Peter's. Catch. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit. It'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw in is not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap, throws to the far side. Wide open touchdown. In there, called strike three. Looking, Mulcahy he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bigwitz. They score! Michael Bigwitz for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flipped to O'Donnell. One throw on to first. In time for a double play. Just we'll look back out there for the Marauders. He takes the snap. Looking over the middle. Has a man. And he scores. Reels it in. 35. Stick on to defenders. Two on to the 20. Let's go. There he goes. And once again, hit in the air to deep center field. Sicka moving on the back at the wall. It's gone. Ellis Reed with a two-run blast. And the Marauders have a 6-0 lead. St. Peter's Prep has the best coverage for its student-athletes. Why don't you? It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much. And now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night and um, it was a punt return. And I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And then, of course, I showed all my family members and they... They really liked it. They, they like to see four. what their family can do. Golden Lions. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there is no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved. They feel important. And by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids.
Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readiness and sports education.org. One of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro. And it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game! 62 apiece. 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down. Corey Floyd. A missed opportunity down low behind the back to Blaine O'Hare. Long. Lawrence with Floyd to lob it up. And a slam. Too low for Dunn. Wilcher to Floyd. Brings it in and one on the lob. Thought about the three. Drives base lock. Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd. Here with Corey Floyd after a tough six. Wilcher, three. Got it. Simeon Wilcher is fired up. And Simeon Wilcher all alone with the flush. Out of here with Simeon Wilcher. And the pass taken away by Marshall. And he'll throw it down. Tosses it ahead to Valencia. Serene driving and throws it down. He kicks it around and a turnover. Corey Floyd has it. Step through, lay it through the basket. Michael Cerrone here with Roselle Catholic head coach Dave Boff. Dave, you're coming up. Now, it's your time to join. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. down the middle man just got and he keep going and he, he oh what the ball's ball loose off, and they hop back on it that's a touchdown short punt bounces at the 35 fielded at the 40 by quick quick out to the corner he's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him cuts back he's in for a touchdown swing pass in the flat touchdown Third down and 17, a handoff, getting to the outside, there's a hole, there's a first down, and all the way to the races is Elijah McWilliams to the house for a touchdown and for an IMIC for a division championship. Over to Floyd, he's open, thought about the three, drives, base lock. Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd! Free throw line, tries to dump a pass off, gets intercepted. Freeman, all the way to the hole. Oh, what a block by Moore! Left to play in the fourth quarter. Promarty, three, got it! 
Davis probed in the corner, three pointer up and down. Brown again. His second straight three. Roselle Catholic in a hurry. Wilcher back to Bueno. He's going to try and tie it. And he does. Oh, big shots all around. He kicked it around and a turnover. Corey Floyd has it. Step through, lay it down the basket. Is Kramer. Kramer walking in. Pass in front. They score! Five. Puck comes back out to the point. Gorski with a shot. And then they score! Slap shot from the point. Blocked the side. Here comes Ken Bishop. Walking in short-handed. They score! Off the head for the Marauders. Here comes Bigman. They score! Michael Benkovic for St. Peter's Park. And they lead it 3 2. The celebration is underway. The horn sounds. And the Glen Rock Panthers are the McGinnis Cup champions. But that's going to do it. The revenge score is complete. The Don Bosco Cup Ironmen are the Gordon Cup Conference champions. Do you. Welcome back. Start of the third quarter here between St. John Vianney and Saddle River Day. A 42-27 lead for the Lancers over the Rebels. After two quarters of play, I'm Kevin Connolly joined alongside Mustafa Huin. It'll be St. John Vianney basketball to start this third quarter. St. John, John Vianney, they, I mean, they're just the better team in that first half. They were able to get to the rim, finish from outside. They were able to do just about anything they wanted to do against the Saddle River Day team. Uh, St. Rose misses, gets her own miss, and puts it back in. And that's what I'm talking about. This, this Lancer team, just stronger and more physical than the Rebels. And that paid, that showed on the scoreboard. And it's like pick your poison. There's so many people that can score for uh, St. John Vianney. Forces Saddle River Day to nearly be perfect every time down the floor as they miss a three there. And Zoe Brooks will pull down the rebound. A bullet pass all the way. The hesitation and the finish by Callaway. Between Brooks, Callaway, and Max Rose, that's their big three right there. That ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Rebels. And a 19 point lead, seconds into this third quarter. St. John Vianney, the number one team in New Jersey. Shadow River Day, number two. Lancers as high as number three in some national polls. Uh, St. Rose making a 21-point game. 18-0 on the year of the Lancers. Max Preps has them number three nationally. ESPN at number five. Shadow River Day not nationally ranked as there's a three that will go by Faith Williamson. Much needed basket right there. Saddle River Day, a perfect 16-0 coming into this game. Ranked as the number two team in the state. And a lot of work to do, but still a lot of time left for the Rebels. Down by 18. Here against St. John Vianney, they'll kick in the corner. There's a three. Ashley O'Connor answers with a three of her own. Paulina Paris to the hole, and she's fouled. Okay, this has to be the most dominant girls team I've ever seen. This is the Roselle Catholic of girls basketball. Roselle Catholic boys team, top 15 nationally, number two team in New Jersey, only behind Camden. Camden beat Roselle Catholic in the season opener. Perhaps we'll see round two between those two teams in the Tournament of Champions, the final Tournament of Champions here in the state of New Jersey. As Paris goes two for two from a strike. I mean, you have a 20-point lead on the number two team in the state. 
Do, uh, will they have any competition this year? Yeah, that's dominance. And even when they've played out-of-state teams, they've ran them out of gyms too. Harris comes off a screen. So hoist a three, can't get it to go. Brooks pulls down the board. Four other winners today. Morris Catholic took down the host, Homedale Hornets. Rumson Fairhaven, a victory over St. Thomas Aquinas. Manasquan took down... That ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with St. John Vianney. Manasquan took down Paul the sixth. That was a great game. That was a really great game. And also it was a great game, the one that preceded this one. Rutgers Prep taking down a shorthanded Red Bank Catholic team. Two games that were decided by sizable margins. And two games that came down right to the wire. This one looking towards the former with a 21-point lead three minutes into the third quarter. Harris flips it across to Pearson. Tried to find one more to Williamson, but threw it out of bounds. Okay, I, what I will say, this is one of the best run showcases I've ever been at. It ran on time, very professional. Shout out to Coaches Choice USA. Yep, the 2022 Choice, choice, excuse me, the 2022 Coaches' Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase here from the Shore Conference as Paris couldn't get that one to go over St. Rose. Brooks all by herself. And a timeout call by Saddle River Day. 55-32, St. John Vianney all over Saddle River Day. We'll step aside for a break and be back right after this. 22 well, they made one shot coming out of the timeout to get it to 20. They still got half a quarter left and a foul underneath. Who are they going to get it on, though? And they're going to get the foul on Saddle River Day. And the Rebel fans not happy about that call. They thought Michaela Hubbard was going to get hit for the foul. They thought she held Christina Martharin. But instead, they say it the other way around. It'll stay with St. John Vianney, just the first team foul on Saddle River Day here in the second half, and Paris comes away with a steal. Paulina Paris, fouled, and they'll wave it off. Well, Saddle River Day hasn't been thrilled with the officiating in this game. They wanted the continuation there for Paulina Paris. They won't get it. They'll call a foul on the floor. Allen on Bree Delaney, her first team second. And Paris now to inbound for the Rebels. She'll go to the hole and she'll lay it in with the finger roll. Now they need a stop right here. It's down to 18. St. Rose can't get it to go. The rebound tipped into the hands of the Rebels. They'll swing it to the corner. Pearson, this would be huge. Couldn't get it to go. And the rebound's tapped out of bounds. It'll go to St. John Vianney. If C.C. Pearson was able to knock down that corner three, 
and make the lead 15. The Rebels would have had a new sense of life. Instead, she was just a bit long. Look down low, and we'll get another foul on Saddle River Day. This one will go on Christina Mutherin. Mutherin will check out. Alexis Rosenfield will come into the game. The inbounds goes right to St. Rose. St. Rose backs her way into the post. St. Rose is no joke. The senior committed to play at Princeton next year. Harris, a nice find. Yeah, she's smart. They'll look down low, and then now, now they'll get the foul on St. John Vienne. They'll get Michaela Hubbard with the reach. Paris drives, tough move to the hole. Tell you what, Paulina Paris showing out here in this finale of the Coach's Choice USA Girls Basketball Showcase. We'll get a blocking foul. Line out of bounds for St. John Vianney after the foul. Three team fouls apiece. Off the inbounds, ball gets tapped around. St. Rose turns oh. towards the baseline. There's just no defending that. She just making that look easy. Like she woke up and, and, and just practices that. Harris drives. A foul or a jump ball. I think they'll get the foul. Good. Bachman with the foul. St. Rose will check out, as will Delaney. Paulina Paris gets it right back off the inbounds. Paris, thinking about the three, takes it. Can't get it to go. The rebound tapped out to Brooks. Brooks on the drive. Sovalos will pull it out back to Bachman. Bachman gets fouled on the reach. Harris picks up her third foul. Valos on the crossover. Tried to feed it down low, was poked away. Pearson trying to run the floor. Turn it, and the foul. That time they'll give the Rebels the continuation. As CC Pearson is gonna go to the line to try and complete the three-point play. Cervalos, her <laughs> second, team's fifth. I'll tell you, the best, best wrestler in the stands. She can't complete the three-point play, so it'll remain an 18-point game with 1.10 to go here in the third quarter. Yeah. 
Pearson tips it aside. It'll stay with the Lancers. Back St. Rose. Brooks, look at that move for Zoe Brooks. Got it with the heavy. 45 to go in the third. Williamson, the floater, left it way short. Brooks the rebound and a foul underneath on Saddle River Day. Be the fifth team foul. We'll see who they get it on. I think they'll get it on Dakota Corey. Her third. All live, all live. Brooks on the crossover. Oh, she lost her footing. That could have been a dangerous play. Easily could have gotten hurt there as a three from Corporal is buried in the corner. Paulina Paris to the hole and a blocking foul underneath. Foul goes underneath. 16 foul on St. John Vianney, the second on Ashley O'Connor. The next one will put Sano River Day in the bonus. The inbounds went to nobody. It's picked up there by St. John Vianney and Madison St. Rose will finish. One second left. There's a heave, but it's just a pass up court, and that will do it for the third quarter. 66-41 is our score after three. We'll step aside for a break and be back right after this. It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much, and now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night, and um, it was a punt return. And I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And then, of course, I showed all my family members, and they they really liked it. They they liked to see what their family members can do. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global, and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there is no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved, they feel important, and by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids. Well, I'm going to be at the start a good of the question. fourth quarter <laughs> here between St. John Vianney, Saddle River Day. It'll be Saddle River Day basketball to start things off here in this fourth frame. On the drive and a foul. I think they'll call that the act of shooting. One if more quarter of basketball, man. I can't believe it. After five games, this is our fifth. We're in the final eight minutes. And they called the foul on the floor. So it'll be CC Pearson at the line for a one and one. And no, they just changed it on the floor. They'll say it was in the act of shooting. So it's two shots for Pearson. Second is good. C. 
66-42. Nice play designed for a open elbow jumper is no good. But the rebound by Bree Delaney and she'll bank it off the window. You're watching right now the number one team in girls basketball here on D1 Media Pro. Tomorrow the number one team in boys ice hockey takes the rink as Christian Brothers Academy, number one in the NJ.com top 20, will travel up to West Orange and play sixth ranked Seton Hall Prep from Cody Arena. Face off at 4 p.m. You can see the game live only right here on D1 Media Pro. Oh, we to Paris. A nice Euro into the lane for two. Also tomorrow, another top 20 matchup on the ice and 8.50 p.m. start time between number 19, St. Peter's Prep, and number 20, Pope John. 8.50 puck drop from the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The first boys ice hockey game to be played at American Dream. So is that the first game being played there ever? I don't know if it's the first game ever, but I know it is the first boys varsity high school hockey game. I might have to come. I've be never been to that mall. Yeah, I've never, I've never been, there. been there either. Really looking forward to getting down there. That's an 850 puck drop from East Rutherford. So D1 Media Pro after dark tomorrow night from East Rutherford. And also a whole bunch of other action going on here tomorrow. Saint, the St. Peter's Prep Boys basketball team is in action against County Foe Schneider. That's a 430 tip. And you can see it right here on D1 Media Pro. Harris gets fouled in the backcourt, and she'll go to the line for a one and one. I wonder if they have a basketball question. An American dream? I would, I would, I don't know. I would tend to say on the side of yes. I mean, what don't they have in there? They, they have I a, know there's like a. Uh, you have a ski slope. You have a water, water park. park. You have an ice rink. I would, I would go with yes that they somewhere in that mall that they have a basketball court but yeah they should have a 3,000 seat arena in there we got an 80,000 seat arena next door in MetLife Stadium you had a hockey slash basketball arena in the Izod Center but that's no longer in use as there's a nice feed down low and the layup is good with six minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter also mark your calendars for next Saturday afternoon, the Hearts to Hand Showcase at Roselle Catholic. Four boys basketball games beginning at 3.15. It all gets underway with Union Catholic and Manasquan. Followed after that, Roselle Catholic and Linden, then St. Joe's Metuchen and Hudson Catholic, and then the finale, St. Thomas Aquinas and Gill St. Bernard's. I'm really excited for girls flag football in April. Yeah, That's girl, what I'm looking for. Girls flag football all around the state, partnered by the New York Jets. Timeout called on the floor. St. John Vianney burns their first yeah, we timeout. Got, we got teams in Charlotte, too. Absolutely. We'll step aside for a timeout. 70 to 46 is our score. 518 left to go here in the fourth quarter. And we'll be back after this. Uh, can we get a running clock? Um, Over to Floyd, he's open, thought about the three, drives, baseline! Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd! Free throw line, tries to dump a pass off, gets intercepted. Freeman, all the way to the hole. Oh, what a block by Moore! Left to play in the fourth quarter. Promarty, three, got it! Davis probed, in the corner, three, pointer, up and down! Brown again! His second straight three! Roselle Catholic in a hurry! Wilcher, back to Bueno, he's gonna try and tie it, and he does, oh, big shots all around. He kick it around and a turnover. Corey Floyd has it. Step through, lay it through the basket. Back after the timeout, 5-18. Left to go here in the fourth quarter. And off the timeout, a three-pointer is short. Off the hands of Julia Carpel. Paris down the other way. Can't finish, but she'll go to the line for two. Oh. 
Two at the strike for Paulina Paris. The lead is 22 for St. John Vienne. Nearly a steal. And we'll get a foul underneath. You look at this Santa River Day team, I mean, this score does not indicate how good of a basketball team they are. I mean, just look at some of their out-of-state games. They've beaten teams from New York, Florida, Texas, and Tennessee, not to mention every single New Jersey team they've played to this point. And for St. John Vianney, we talked about at the top of our broadcast, I mean, they're just something different. As the officials go over to the oh, scorer's table. Well, DJ Pardo says there's levels to this. And they're definitely on a different level. Absolutely. I mean, they've basically manhandled every team they've played so far. And they're putting the work here on Saddle River Day. And what was our feature event here in this showcase, number one versus number two here in New Jersey? Uh, there's a turnover there. It'll go back to the Rebels. I mean, they really just haven't been in that close of a game this year. They played the DME Academy in the Tampa Bay Christmas Invitational, and they won that game by six. That's the closest game St. John Vianney has been in all year. Timeout on the floor, 426 to go here in the fourth, and we'll be back after this. Right down the middle, man. This guy, and he keep going, and he's... he's oh, what, the ball's loose. Out, and they hop back on it, and that's a touchdown. Short punt, bounces at the 35, fielded at the 40 by, quick, quick, out to the corner. He's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him. Cuts back, he's in for a touchdown! Swing pass in the flat. Back after the timeout. Battle River Day in possession. Paulina Paris a three. Halfway down and out. Outlet pass up ahead. Off the hands of Ashley O'Connor. A drive, a kick, a drive, and a finish by Corey. Zoe Brooks honored before the game, scoring her 1,000th point. Imagine scoring 1,000 points before even the finale of your junior season. And that's what Brooks did. Combined her time, one half a season here at St. John Vianney and her two years at Trenton Catholic. That three is no good. The outlet pass to Brooks. Nice feed up ahead, and the layup by Delaney. Harris feeds it to the corner. Nice look down low. They'll give one more pass. Williamson's three. An air ball. Able to corral the loose ball was Corey, but couldn't finish at the rim. Brooks up ahead. The finish again for Delaney. Corey drives. Almeida left it short. 
Loose ball on the baseline, picked up by the Rebels. And they'll get a foul at the elbow. And that'll be the 10th team foul on St. John Vianney. So it'll put Sano Riverdale at the free throw line for two. And I believe it'll be Almeida who will go to the line at will. So she'll shoot two. Once again, I want to thank everyone here at the 2022 Coaches' Choice USA Girls, Girls High School Basketball College Showcase event for allowing us to broadcast the Sunday portion of the games here as the first free throw bounces out. There were four games yesterday as well. Five games today. Your winners will be... Morris Catholic, Rumson Fairhaven, Manasquan, Rutgers Prep, and St. John Vianney. Both free throws bounce out. A straight on three is too strong. St. John Vianney controls the rebound. Alina Dinker checked into the game. Loose ball on the deck. Another turnover, Savalos comes away with it. Two minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. St. John Vianney gonna improve to 19-0 on the season while Saddle River Day will suffer their first defeat of the year. They'll drop to 16-1. Brooks on the drive, tries to kick it back out and turns it over. Well, the good thing is the rankings won't change. Absolutely, these are still your number one and number two teams in New Jersey. Rutgers Prep was able to survive an upset bid from shorthanded Red Bank Catholic. And if St. John's Vienna is top five of the nation, I would love to see who the other four teams are in front of them. Absolutely. Well, I know Sidwell Friends, I know one, that's one of the schools. As we get a horn before the free throw, and I think that was the fifth foul, and it was on Janie Bachman, so Pearson will have to shoot two. That first free throw she made will not count. Well, yeah, if you're looking at the ESPN Top 25, Sidwell Friends and St. John Vinny, they were supposed to play last week, but due to the snowstorm, that game, Sidwell Friends couldn't get up from Washington, D.C. They're currently number one in the ESPN Top 25. DeSoto from Texas is number two. Hopkins in Minnesota is three. And hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Etwanda from California is four, and St. John Vianney here at five, as Pearson goes one for two from the strike. And I don't believe any other out-of-state games are on the schedule for St. John Vianney. They'll now prepare for their conference, or their county tournament, the state tournament, and then perhaps the tournament of champions should they advance through to win a sectional title, St. Rose, the steal, the layup, and we will get a timeout for St. John Vianney with 1.10 left to go here in the fourth quarter. We'll step aside for one last break. Be back with the final 70 seconds right after this. So I'll take the starters out. Here's Kramer. Kramer walking in. Pass in front, they score! Puck comes back out to the point. Gorski with a shot, and then they score! Slap shot from the point, blocked the side. Here comes Ken Bishop, walking in short-handed. He scores! Up the head for the Marauders. Here comes Bengvitz, they score! Michael Bengvitz for St. Peter's Park, and they lead it 3-2. Back after the timeout, both teams have emptied their benches here with a minute to go in the fourth quarter. And this game in hand, 76-51. St. John Vianney leads it. A kick into the corner, Madison McCarthy's three is no good. The offensive rebound by Jessica Carter. And we'll get a foul underneath. And that should send Carter to the line to shoot two. Over, 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 over. 
Jessica Carter at the line for two, and she's too strong on the first. Second one also too strong. Rebound gets tapped around. St. John Vianney will control. Dinker stops on a dime. Feeds it back out. Corporal, nice look down low. The layup no good by Charlotte Dulles. Half a minute to go. <coughs> Excuse me. See if St. John Vanney will just dribble this out. No, they'll take a three. Halfway down and out, and a foul underneath. That'll be the seventh team foul on Saddle River Day. And it should send Dooley to the line for a one and one. That was the fifth and final foul for Christina Matherin. So she'll, she's out of the game. Ashley Red comes in to replace her as Dooley. The front end of a one and one is too strong. Ball sent up ahead, turned over. St. John Vianney in control. Ten seconds left. They'll just cross half court. And it looks like that should do it. As the Lancers will just dribble this one out, and they will get a commanding and impressive 76-51 victory over Saddle River Day in a matchup between the number one and number two teams here in the state of New Jersey. St. John Vianney, better than advertised, were the Lancers in this one, and Saddle River Day just couldn't catch up with St. John Vianney. That'll do it for us here from the 2022 Coaches Choice USA Girls Basketball College Showcase event. Your five winners today, Morris Catholic over Holmdale, Rumson, Fairhaven over St. Thomas Aquinas, Manasquan over Paul VI, Red Bank Catholic over, excuse me, Rutgers Prep over Red Bank Catholic, and St. John Vianney over Satter, Saddle River Day. A whole lot of more elite high school sports to come this winter on D1 Media Pro. Stay with us all season long and into the spring as we close out the 2021-2022 school year right here on the NFHS Network. The North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute is the preferred practice for diagnosis and orthopedic treatment in New Jersey. From the moment you become a patient in our practice, our experienced team supports you until your full recovery with education, compassion, and understanding. Our focus includes sports injuries, as well as the treatment of a broad range of orthopedic complaints, from common tendon ailments and arthritic joint pain to traumatic injuries. Our facility offers an on-site physical therapy suite in conjunction with specifically designed exercise programs, non-invasive and advanced healing technology. We can not only address the current injury, but also find the underlying cause, such as muscle weakness, imbalance, or improper form. We also offer non-surgical modalities, such as platelet-rich plasma injections, which can lead to an accelerated recovery. To provide efficient and excellent care, personal interactions and individualized attention for each patient is important. We are committed to create a protocol that can eliminate similar injuries in the future. At North Jersey Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, we are dedicated to providing the highest standard of care and comfort of athletes, including patients with non-related sports injuries. Board certified.